Yeah, you know, back in the day when we were playing with the Dead, uh, Phil, was, I, I was closer with Phil than any of them. Uh, Phil lived in a, in a rental house right in Palo Alto, just a couple blocks from the railroad tracks. Oh wow! Okay. And it had a it had a deep lot, and it had a mechanics pit in the backyard. Uh, and and that was one of the reasons that I really liked Phil's place because I could go and uh, drive my car on the mechanics pit and fix uh-huh. stuff when I needed to. That's awesome. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, everybody listening in uh, knows obviously the Grateful Dead and Phil Lesh still rocking and rolling. The 50th anniversary I was, was I packed. I was driving an outrageous car too. I, I, I was driving a, a, a Lotus Elan sports car. Oh wow! This was one of the fastest cars in the world at the time, and it was painted all day glow red. Oh wow, man! What now? Where'd you get the car, and what's up with the car? You know what? I, I bought it. It was the only new car I ever bought in my life because that's the only way you could get them. <laughs> but I, I first saw, when I first saw that car when it came out, uh, I wanted one. I thought that's that's the exact car I want. Wow! And I had been driving uh, Alfa Romeos. Uh, oh wow! I like, and I realized I really liked small sports cars. I'd driven Jaguars and uh, Austin Healys and those bigger, heavier cars. I realized I really liked the, the lightweight cars. Yeah, yeah. And then a friend of mine uh, worked at a, at a dealership in Eugene, and they got a, a Lotus Elite in a little coupe, and and he took me for a ride and it let me drive it. And uh, at that point, I said, "Yeah, this is a car I want. Only I want a Roadster." And then a year later, they started building that Roadster, so I inherited some money and I bought one. There, there were none of them uh, available used. It was a new car on the market, and so I bought the first one I could get. Wow. How much? J- just curious. Back then, how much was it going for? $3,991. Wow, 3991 That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Making probably 10 bucks a week back then, I guess, 40 bucks a week, something like it. Is that what it was like back then? What was it, like 50 bucks a week you make? For what? Just like a work day. What was like a, a regular work week, I should say? How much would somebody oh, make? Oh, I don't know. Let me think about that. Uh, probably, uh, gosh, I worked a little bit, but not very much. A couple bucks an hour, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, prob- probably. Uh, much less oh, than you, what people you, are making you now. You $100 a week. You yeah, $100 yeah. $100 a week if you have a pretty good job. Yeah, so thirty nine ninety one for the Lotus. So then, well, quick question, brother. Just curious, man. When you were, you know, in the bus, obviously, and further, uh, and Tom Wolf wrote about it, did you get to, you know, know Tom Wolf? Did you get to, you know, make good connections? Yeah, with Tom more Wolf? or less. I took him for a ride one time and frightened him. <laughs> <laughs> in the Lotus? Yeah. Yeah, bro. <laughs> what happened? Was, what happened with it? Where were you? Where were you? Where were you driving? Oh, we, we weren't even going fast. We were just driving around the streets in, in Menlo Park in Palo Alto, and I okay. probably wasn't going over. I probably wasn't going over sixty. <laughs> and wait, so of course I probably should have been going over twenty, but nonetheless. So Tom also lived. Wait, wait, where did Tom live then? Where did he live? Well, did he? Live, well, because Phil lived in Palo or Menlo Park. Uh, did Tom Wolf live around there there too? I don't know where he was staying. He was probably staying in hotels or something. I don't know. I don't remember. Maybe I knew, but I don't remember. So he was just cruising he was around, around with you. Quite a bit. He was just cruising. He was around quite a bit. 